probably shouldn't expect to see Lillard starring in any reality shows about his about his personal life. I think that would be accurate. I mean, Lillard is a young man who is all about taking care of his business and doing what he needs to be doing. I mean, his reality is trying to live up to the expectations for him in Portland. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. They pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters going forward. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. On the court for Cleveland, Freak in its center. Smith is out there with Tristan Thompson. Then there's Irving. And it's Delavidova in at the two-guard spot. And now Portland on the break. Now here's McCollum. He's covered closely. Here's Kamen. And it's blocked. Oh, and here we go. Irving's got it. The fast break chance. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. The Cavaliers have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. And he makes the first. A different look now for Portland. The Cavaliers leading by nine. James kicks to Freak. There's the killer two-handed slam. And that's going to increase the field goal percentage even more. They have a huge edge in that category. And that's because they've been playing smart basketball. I mean, they've been very patient offensively. And their shot selection has been superb. Back to Lillard. He kicks it to Henson. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Yeah, I like everything you said there, because when all else fails, if you can get to the strike, that's really a good way to change the momentum in the game because you get points and you also slow down the opponent because the game isn't going up and down as much. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Delavidova's checked in and a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Lakers just played phenomenal. He ended up with 50 points and came out of nowhere defensively, swatting away one shot after another. Just absolutely incredible numbers from him in a game you didn't want to miss. So glad we were here to watch it, Kevin. All right, Doris. Oh! oh that athletic. Yeah. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying Clark to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, partner? Yeah, I would have to say there are a lot of questions right now from a defensive standpoint, that's for sure. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. And that'll be Cleveland as it goes out of bounds. Uh, Cavaliers retain possession. Thirty seconds left in the second quarter. Galloway the pass to Lillard. Came in in the high post, all alone. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Kamen's got his second basket. Williams against Lillard. Deflects the pass, stolen by Henson. Passes it to Aminu. Here's Lillard, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. The Trailblazers have had an off night for the strike tonight. Not a strong suit for this group, just around 71%. Yeah, it's been a very frustrating season for them in that regard, guys. Williams. No luck. The clock runs out. Hi, Kevin. I'm here with 